So today we are going to be calculating volume when temperature changes. And this is the equation that you use for that. But today uh, we are not going to be focusing on pressure. We're going to be focusing solely on volume and temperature. So for this equation, So for this equation, the problem is a gas sample in a closed expandable container of initial volume, 5 liters, was allowed to warm from 25 degrees Celsius to 35. What was its new volume? And as you can see on the markings that I made on the paper, this is from my study guide, um, you'll see that for the volume that I give us, volume one, it's five liters. The first temperature it gave us was 25 degrees Celsius. And the second volume is what we are trying to solve for. The second temperature was 35 degrees Celsius. All right, now, <clears throat> as I showed you before, with how you are going to do that, right? I showed you how to set up your equation. Now, you're going to have your five liters on top, right? Now, is it over 25 degrees Celsius? No. No. When you do this equation, the denominator, the temperature, needs to be in Kelvin. Always in Kelvin. So, here's how to do that. Zero degrees Celsius equals to 273 Kelvin. So let's move over here. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to take 273. Oh, oops. 200K. <laughs> oh, well, I need some sleep. Oh, I'm way too tired. Sorry about that. So 273. <laughs> Plus 25. All right. And it is going to give you 298 Kelvin. So what we can do is we can erase this because we're not going to need that. And go ahead and put this under it. So now we don't need this anymore because we already found Kelvin. So this is the first part of your equation. Now, it's going to equal to the volume that we are trying to find over, remember, we are not doing 35 degrees Celsius. Um, all you have to do is just add 10 to 298 and you will be getting 308 Kelvin because remember it was 35 degrees Celsius but we started out with uh, and that was 10 degrees higher than what we originally started with so uh, yeah <clears throat> so remember this 298 is was the 25 degrees Celsius and this 308 was the 35 degrees Celsius in case you're wondering how I got that. All right. So, you have this problem. Now, what do you do to, what do you need to do next? What you need to do is you need to get this 308 over to this side. And how you do that is to cancel it out. So, 
you have three, O, eight, K, and three, O, eight, K. All right. So this cancels out. It's no more. So you don't need that anymore. And we have succeeded in having the the volume that we're looking for by itself. So this is what you're going to be left with. And you're going to multiply 308 Kelvin by 5 liters. And then you are going to divide that by 298 Kelvin. So if so if you have a calculator on you which you should you are going to go ahead excuse my nails <laughs> and do that so it should be 308 times 5 and then divided by 2 9 8 and it will leave you with 5.16 now because of this 7 right here you're going to round the 6 up and it's going to be 3 sig figs because of this 5 right here so it's going to be 3 six sig figs so really what you should be having is 5.17 because you rounded that 6 up because of the seven right here. And this is your answer. All right, thank you so much for watching and I'll be posting more videos. Thank you.